name is Kristen Adresha. I'm based in Tokyo. I'm a concept designer and a design strategist. The most important thing with sustainability is really to look at, at as how it exists within the whole. And I think the iPhone is only successful because it works within the context of people's lives. Um, if you look at the I, um, iPhone or even the iPod, you know, the iPod doesn't even have a stop button, which is very representative of how we live today. So I think so long as this bus is actually representative of how we live today, I think we can make it as, as sexy as an iPhone. It's once people can actually uh, derive a sense of meaning from it. I think at the moment sustainability is something that's looked at in isolation. There is no uh, understanding of how it fits within the whole. And sustainability very much is also for the greater good, for beyond the individual. So I think it's actually about people being able to connect to a wider sense of community and to, to go beyond themselves, to understand that sustainability is all about meaning, all about awareness, and all about you know, making items that we have in our lives almost fit for use. It's really, really important, the concept of sharing. Uh, so many good things can come from sharing, whether it's sharing a trainer or uh, a, a gym trainer or sharing a car. And I think it's like trying to get more uh, spaces where shared moments can occur. I think at the moment it's much more about how can we actually bring this sense of community together where only once we can see what the effect of our actions is on another will people actually start to take sustainability seriously. I think it's really important to actually look at the emotions behind building something. I don't believe in building buildings. It's all about uh, building and designing moments. And I think it's about how can we actually emotionally amplify life by asking what is the, the feeling, what is the um, resonance, what is the thing that we want from this aspect of the city to illuminate in our lives. I think that actually the point of cities is really to enhance our lives, to, to really act as an enhancer and to help emotionally sustain us. Absolutely, That's, uh, it's the cultural narrative that we tell each other that actually gives meaning to a place. Uh, and I think it's actually in the daily interactions, and that's why I think the local is so important. So you can actually continue a conversation on if a barista in a coffee shop recognizes you and your family, that it's not just a one-off interaction, that a continuing dialogue can actually occur. And in those stories, in those moments, in those like tiny aspects of everyday life, that is where the narrative of a city exists. still have to like, not look at us ourselves as human beings but as social beings. Um, again, I think it's a, all about the individual as, as a human rather than the greater good and the social connections that actually occur. So I think that actually once we can actually see that I am in you and you are in me, uh, I think that's then when the cities will actually really flourish. Unfortunately, I do believe it's greed. If you look at a lot of property developers, um, they never actually act in consultation with those that are going to be using the buildings. And I do believe that it is more about uh, co-existence and co-creation rather than a property developer or, or someone having almost a, a single-minded kind of a vision which they push through, which has no relevance to, to those that are going to be living in the area. Um, I do think for generosity, again, we have to see that all of us breathe that same air. It's not something that can be segregated just in a penthouse. You know, I, I think the city has to have the same feeling at the penthouse as well as the lobby level. I think the city skyline of tomorrow is one that embraces the future and change, but also honors its cultural heritage. Um, as well as in regards to nature, biodiversity and cultural diversity, as well as sustainable methods of transport. But I do think once people, again,
connect as emotional beings. Uh, the city skyline of the future is one where for the greater good is, is almost the paramount idea through which all things are done, not for the individual need and ego.